Hello, I am a residential heating and air conditioning technician. I am not an auto mechanic, but I experienced air conditioning failure in my Honda CRV, so I am repairing it myself. As you can see, I have taken off the bumper cover and the lower splash guard. Now let's go inside the garage and take a look. So I've taken out the condenser. I have unbolted the compressor. Oops, sorry, I apologize for not having the light ready. I unbolted the compressor, which is way down there. <laughs> now I thought I would be able to pull the compressor out through this opening here. I was wrong, it does not fit. The Haynes manual tells you to drop it out through the bottom under here. Nope, doesn't fit there either. So it appears that I'm going to have to either take the radiator fan out, somehow tilt the radiator forward to allow enough room to get it out, or possibly just take the radiator out. <laughs> What you're looking at here is where the clutch used to be. This is the new compressor. See, that's what a clutch is supposed to look like. But my clutch came flying off while I was driving on the highway on a very hot day. Now, you may have heard about the, the infamous Honda Black Death and wonder what that is. Okay, well here is the condenser coil. That used to be in front of the radiator, which I have taken out. And so this here on the side of the condenser is the receiver dryer. You use a big Allen wrench to unscrew it. That piece comes out. There it is. There it is. Okay. There it is. Okay, this here is a screen. So there's that screen. Then there's a desiccant bag in here. Right here. Now if you look at this desiccant bag, you see how it's black near the bottom? And if you, oh there, you can even see, if you look very closely, you can see shining pieces of metal. So we know that there's contamination in the system. So the next thing I did, this here is the suction line, which I took off the compressor. This here is the liquid line. So the, this line here and this line here are these two lines, these two lines here, that goes into the evaporator. I took my nitrogen bottle and I used electrical tape to attach the hose onto the suction line and I blew nitrogen backwards through the evaporator and expansion valve. And I held this white t-shirt over here, kind of like that, to catch whatever came out. And if you can see in the light, what came out is oil that's a little bit dark. Not black, but not clear like it's supposed to be. And if you look very closely, you can see tiny metal shavings. So there is contamination in the system. Now, this is not the Honda approved procedure, but willing to take my chances, I just kept blowing it until I feel I got the majority of the contamination out. And now I'm going to take my chances. So my next step, is to get that compressor out, get the new compressor in, and then get the new condenser in. So we're back. I got the compressor out. I did not have to remove the radiator or even disconnect the hoses. I took the radiator fan out, disconnected the, or actually, I, I didn't even need to do that, never mind but I was able to lift it up out of the pegs in the bottom 
shift the whole thing forward, pry it forward, and create enough of a path to lift the compressor out. But that's where the good news ends. <laughs> Here's the old compressor. I turned it over and dumped it out, and look at what came out. Dark gray oil and lots of big pieces of metal. That's not good. So this is why if the Black Death occurs, you're really supposed to replace the whole AC system. Hmm. And yet I've already decided I am not replacing the evaporator. So I'm replacing the compressor and the condenser. In fact, here's, here's the new condenser. I'm going to put that in and take my chances. <laughs> Concerning putting oil in the new system, the O2 to O5-ish CRV calls for 4.3 ounces of synthetic PAG 46 oil. So here we've got this universal oil, which says replaces OE PAG 46, calls for 4.3 ounces. So what I did is I put it on my electronic scale took the cover off of the suction port, not the discharge port, but the suction port, and little by little poured oil into the suction port and weighed it until I had poured in exactly two ounces. And the other 2.3 ounces, I'm going to pour directly into the condenser coil. <laughs> 